Hey, everyone. Breaking Marvel news for Spider-Man 4. It seems that they have found the director for Tom Holland's next solo outing in Spider-Man 4. Also talks for its film and production to go up in next year of summer 2025. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop right on into it. Break it all down for you guys. Everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do, though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Marvel-related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from IGN.com as an overall garnering source, but hey, there's also been a lot of other sources, reputable sources, covering and discussing this, like Variety.com and The Hollywood Reporter. So as I had mentioned there in our prologue, Spider-Man 4 director update, it seems that they have found the director for Spider-Man 4 with Tom Holland's next solo MCU outing, the Shang-Chi uh, director and also Disney Plus's Wonder Men, that's also coming out sometime in next year, 2025 is what we're anticipating and thinking, that's Destin Daniel Cretton is going to be the director of Spider-Man 4, he's in the reporter talks to helm the next Spidey MCU film, there's been no official confirmation uh, from Marvel Studios themselves or for from Disney there as well but when you have the trades and you have the industry insiders and all the scoopers talking about this you almost take this as like a confirmed update so Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings director Destin Daniel Cretton is reportedly in the talks to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to helm Spider-Man 4 also here this time around returning to the MCU once again he just did uh, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings as I had mentioned a couple of years ago the movie did phenomenal I love that it has to be one of my favorite recent MCU MCU movies up there with, uh, you know, Tom Holland's Spider-Man 3, uh, No Way Home, you know, post Endgame, of course, mind you, though, but he dug himself right back into the MCU right after with Disney Plus's Wonder Men uh, Disney Plus series. That seems to have also just recently wrapped up and it finished its principal photography, its filming and production, and it seems like he's ready to jump right back into the MCU once again with Spider-Man 4. So the first details on what could be the comic book veteran's next Marvel movie comes out as a Hollywood Reporter report, it said that the filmmaker is only in negotiations currently as of right now to direct what will become the fourth Tom Holland Spidey flick, meaning he's not officially signed on quite yet, but per those trades, he is in the talks, essentially. It's, like, pretty much there to direct Spider-Man 4 and, like, helm the entirety of the project. The first three MCU Spider-Man movies, Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home, were all directed and written by John Watts. With Cretton stepping in this time around, John Watts is satisfied and kind of done away with his Spider-Man trilogy, very, very satisfied with it, kind of concluded with it overall, and it was kind of there to leave the door open for somebody else, and there's nobody else better, I think, than Daniel Cretton to step in and take over the Spider-Man's next trilogy, essentially. It shows Marvel has continued its interest in bringing his expertise from Shang-Chi to other areas of the superhero universe and franchise. He's also been tapped to serve as an executive producer for the Disney Plus's Wonder Man series, as I had mentioned, that he had started in 2021 and that he had already begun early work on Shang-Chi this time around as well. But before he gets to Shang-Chi 2, it seems, it seems that he's going to step in for Spider-Man 4. It seems to be like the roundabout of things right now. And essentially, we're seeing throughout the last couple of days here, let alone 24 hours, hours the Marvel Studios kind of getting their ducks in a row. Other reports had recently also broke saying that they're going to fast track Thor 5 and that's like something that they want to also release between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. It seems that Spider-Man 4 very well could be on track to do the same thing if not released before Sp Avengers Doomsday as well but we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Daniel Cretton also had been the first pick to direct Avengers The Kang Dynasty. While it was still The Kang Dynasty and not now it's Doomsday, the poor it had morphed into Avengers Doomsday this past July. Daniel Cretton is officially out of the directing spot for that project, with Joe and Anthony Russo set to take over that there instead. And with Avengers off of his plate, Cretton is instead being eyed for Spider-Man 4, per these reports, and it may not be too long before we find out if he'll land the spot, and from there find out more information, more details about Spider-Man 4. 
The Hollywood Reporter also sources say that the film is running, not crawling, full steam ahead. This with plans to begin shooting in early of 2025, as I had also mentioned from the get-go at the beginning of this video. Also attached to the webhead movie are Marvel, Kevin Feige, of course, and Amy Pascal as the producers. One from Disney, Kevin Feige, one from Sony, Amy Pascal, with Spider-Man experts Chris McKenna and Eric Summers back to write the script and help take that there over. Those are the same scripties uh, that we had saw for the first three MCU Spider-Man movies, Homecoming, No Way Home, Far From Home. So seeing that... Spider-Man 4 is being fast-tracked in a way, essentially, because like it seems that they wanted to release uh, sometime in between Doomsday and Secret Wars in 2026 or in 2027, even there, that as well. It definitely also seems that they're eye-tracking it to fast-track it, essentially, as I had mentioned, for them to begin filming and production in early of 2025. It means that scripting and uh, you know writing the script and that pre-production process has to be well underway, especially at this point. Guys, it's September in 2024 so this movie very well could go up after like that hollywood ho holiday season that we see hollywood normally take hollywood break ho holiday break that we see the industry take that's what i'm trying to say uh for the holiday season of course that normally goes up between like december into a little bit of january so if they could very well start production and filming of spider-man 4 sometime in like let's say Let's, let's just play it safe. Like the beginning of February, they film for the next six to nine months, end it sometime around uh, the you know fall of this time, you know, in about a year, roughly, actually, per se. They end it like in September or even August of 2025, go through the post production editing process and uh, everything of that nature. They very well could release Spider Man 4 right before Avengers Doomsday is supposed to release in May of 2026. Like this could be the very first movie of 2026 that Marvel Studios puts out but hey as i had mentioned we'll have to kind of simply wait and see what that there and see like what marvel studios really plans to do i want to say that they have a release date you know like held for them to release something right before that but I'm not exactly entirely sure. So if you guys know more about that, let me know in the comments down below, unless there's something else that's supposed to essentially release. Like based off of, as I had mentioned earlier, another report had also recently just broke, let alone in like the last 24 hours, saying that Marvel Studios also has plans to fast track for Thor 5, and they want that to release in between Avengers Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Like it doesn't seem that Thor's character is necessarily going to be a big part, if a part, of Doomsday. And like if they're playing that same card essentially in Infinity War and Endgame, we might see uh, the Avengers essentially lose uh, in Avengers Doomsday. It would call for Thor to kind of step in and be a big helping hand up for the Avengers in Secret Wars. Same way that we saw with Infinity War, Captain Marvel, and Avengers Endgame. Overall, guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I'm beyond excited. I'm trying to contain myself. I'm super excited, guys. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.